Anyways, um, I'm sure most of you guys have seen this clip. I'm sure most of you have seen this clip. But I find this clip absolutely fascinating because this is a sneak peek into the mind of a stand-up comedian and the way they view themselves and how they navigate through the world and the impact they have on people. And I really want to say that I think we all could use a little bit of crazy confidence a little bit of incredibly unself-aware tendencies that comics stand-up comedians have we need a bit of that i think whatever walk in life whatever walk of life you live in um you know whatever walk of, whatever the fucking term is whatever job you have wherever you are in the world you need a bit of this confidence because this is insane this is insane listen to joe rogan yeah, we say, you know, in the comedy world, we say we're the last line of defense because this is where, where the woke meets the wall. The woke meets the wall with stand-up comedy. What? One more time. Yeah, we say, you know, in the comedy world, we say we're the last line of defense because this is where, <laughs> where the woke meets the wall. The woke meets the wall with stand-up comedy. To be fair, I'm not surprised. You know, I'm an up-and-coming underground bedroom dj right but in the dj world djs for the most part especially professional ones they have a crazy sense of self-confidence there's djs out there that honestly think they could stop the war in gaza they could stop the war in ukraine with a dj set they think all it takes is a party is a rave to heal all of the issues going on around the world that's all they actually think they think fucking music and raves will save the world and i think stand-up comedians are the same they honestly think their shitty dick jokes their jokes about covid their jokes about trump their jokes about cancel culture their jokes about you know um you know um culture war stuff their jokes about woke stuff their jokes about lgbtq people their jokes about reproductive rights their jokes about whatever will actually heal the world and bring peace upon you know <laughs> bring peace and prosperity upon everybody like they honestly think that they really think in their hearts of hearts that all it takes is a good stand-up set to heal the fucking world the same way thing with djs exactly space guy last night a dj saved my life an absolute tune by the way but that's what they honestly think they think djs think they can save the world with tunes with music they don't even make, right? Playing in fucking nightclubs. They think all it takes is a good DJ set to heal the world. And for sure, comedians have this outsized confidence. Like, I think even he referred to himself as like, they're like comedy marines. What was fucking Joe Rogan's first group of comics called? The Deaf Club, innit, right? Or the Deaf, what's it called? The Deaf Suit, the Deaf Click? Deaf Note? What the fuck was it? No, it's as anime. What was it called again? Deaf something, innit? He could like as if they're like some sort of assassins or something like comedic assassins, right? They're killers on stage. Get it? We got death in our name because we kill. We slay the mic, right? Um, the mic is our weapon, <laughs> right? Oh, is it Death Squad? Sorry, yeah, call it a Death Squad. Death Squad rolled around with the fucking Death Squad, Marines of only one thousand true comics in the world, and I find it funny how the true 1,000 comedians are always like majority white guys that all Job Nort knows. They're not like internationally based people. They're all just majority middle-aged white men. That's the best comics in the world. What happened to every, all the other comics in the, in the world? What happened to the world comics? Like, you know, the guy in fucking Germany killing it. What happened to the girl in fucking Vietnam killing it? What happened to them? They don't matter, no? It's only if you speak American English. That's when you count and that's when you're fucking part of the 1,000. Absolutely egregious and crazy. One more time though, because I fucking love this. We're the last line of defense. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, we say, you know, in the comedy world, we say we're the last we line say, of defense. You say, you mean. Because this is where, where the woke meets the wall. The woke meets the wall with stand-up comedy. The last line of defense, like, honestly, man. It's like NATO comedy forces is crazy. The clip of Rogan smashing the stool legit cracks me up so much, exactly. Um, I have an OG Death Squad shirt so old it has holes in its armpits, lols. Joe sounds so stupid because he doesn't understand artists can't also be the critic, exactly. 
Bloody hell, mate. Death squad, you know. 1,000 strong. 1,000 strong comics holding it down. Defending everybody, right? That's what they're allegedly doing. Defending everybody, holding everybody down. 